Hey guys, so if you're here right now, I'm guessing you're interested in getting, for example, a degree, especially an associate's degree. It's easy to get, takes around two years, you get the general education courses, it's cheaper, it's faster, everything is a little better. However, whenever you do research online, fun fact here, you're always gonna find this job, air traffic control makes around a hundred and twenty two thousand dollars but they don't tell you that basically this is a very high intense stress level job where basically you need to break every 90 minutes because it's that stressful and on top of that also only one percent to like five percent of the applicants actually get accepted into the program and you actually have to start training before you're actually 30 years old Allegedly, okay, according to my research on Google, but the point is, okay, this video is not about air traffic control because I know for a fact you probably heard about this over and over again. Now, am I saying don't go out there and get a degree? The answer is no. If you want to, go for it, okay? You need, for example, to be calm, high level of concentration, and know, know for a fact how to communicate, okay? And I've heard and I've read that basically it's a pretty dull job, not that intense, and, and it will become routine, okay? If you wanna do it, go out there and get it. But understand that they only add around 2,000 jobs a year. So there is competition, and the likelihood is actually pretty low. So for this video right here, I didn't wanna give you guys these crazy jobs where, hey, you can make a million dollars, a billion dollars, okay? Get a little degree in management, and then start your own business, and then hope it all works out, no. That's not what I'm doing here. I broke it down into three categories, software and computers kind of, and then also the medical field because we know that's popping right now. And then last thing, just more labor jobs, okay? Like jobs you can actually do whenever you want to, kind of like more business-like jobs, but also the ones that you can actually just go and work for the government if you actually want to. You know, the whole goal is to go out there, get an associate's degree, and then just start working and get amazing benefits and also a great salary. So most of these jobs, okay, Around 80% of them are gonna earn you at least $60,000. But then the other 20% might earn you 25,000, 30,000, 40,000. But again, it all depends on what you're good at and also the type of lifestyle you actually wanna have. Because by the way, some of the ones that are actually lower, they pay you lower if you work for somebody else. But if you make your own business with that same skill, you're able to actually make a lot more money. So it's all to you. Find out which one you basically best at, okay? Computers, medical, or labor jobs, okay? So let's get started here. But before we do, like the video. On top of that, also, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell to get notified. And yeah, that's basically it. And by the way, I'm an accountant. So I did a bachelor's degree in accounting, although I didn't really have to do all that stuff, okay? An associate's degree is just fine, depending on what you actually want to do. And it would have been a lot more cheaper and got me out there a lot faster earn more money faster. Now, let's get started guys, okay? And the first category we're gonna talk about is basically computers, okay? And also software and web development and all this stuff because as we know right now we have, we're living in the 21st century. We have Google, we have Tesla, we have Apple. And although they might create, for example, certain products, they're mostly just software companies when you actually think about it. So the jobs are actually in the software field. And yes, there are jobs we're actually able to get with just two years of education. And that is awesome. And usually you get paid a lot more. So number one is actually web development. And it starts at around $67,000, okay? And by the way, obviously this is a lot of money and you will be responsible for, it's kind of like, by the way, it's not just, hey, I'm going to build a website, but it's also sales and communication. Because basically you're talking to me, the client, and I'm telling you what I want from a website and you're going out there basically building it for me. So that's what it takes. And again, $67,000 a year. Not bad in just two years. Second is network engineer. Starting at around $54,740. Now students learn how to deploy LAN and also WANG and also remote access. And by the way, I don't know what any of this stuff means, just a little bit, but it's not my thing. And also obviously you do deal with system management. If this sounds interesting to you, it might be the job for you. Number three is actually cybersecurity, starting around $57,000. And by the way, in the age of technology, 
you also need the defense against it. So as technology keeps growing and growing and growing, cybersecurity is also going to keep growing and growing and, and growing because it's always that fear base. OK, oh, my gosh, I have all this stuff out here, but then I might get a stolen or whatever. OK, so cybersecurity usually a pretty solid one and it pays a good amount of money. $57,000 a year. And then you also have IT Associates, and it starts at around $37,000. Now, when you go on Google and you look this one up, it will say somewhere like around $60,000, $80,000, 100,000 because this job is just different, okay? If you get a degree in IT management, right? And you come work for me, little old Tommy, a very small company here. Guess what? I'm not going to pay you a hundred thousand dollars a year. But if you go work, for example, for a big company that's able to pay you a lot more for your skills and you have those skills, you get paid obviously a lot more money. And it's a job where basically your salary doesn't get stuck at sixty thousand dollars. It keeps growing and growing and growing and growing. And by the way, don't just stop at the associates. If they tell you, hey, associate starts at 40,000, bachelor starts at 80,000, hey, the ROI there, return on investment, is awesome. And sometimes a company will actually pay for the whole degree. So obviously, it's just, it's just obvious. Go ahead and get it if you can get it. But start working as fast as possible. Then you have number five here for technology stuff. You have computer programmer. You know, the ones and zeros, um, the JavaScript, um, the C++. That's all I really know about computer programming. But it's you basically being the programmer behind all those softwares and programs that people actually love, okay? So when it comes to a website, there's code there. When it comes to a program and an app, there's also code there. So if you're interested in this, it starts at around $82,000. And by the way, I say start, but when I say start, I actually mean, for example, the medium salary, meaning it's more like the average. So you might start lower, you might start higher. It all depends. So look at, for example, don't just watch this video and be like, yeah, I'm definitely gonna go to college and spend X amount of money on this degree because I saw a video on it. No, watch this video and then go on Google laborstatistics.gov, and then basically research the degree in full and then find out, hey, what are all the details here? What do I like? What don't I like, right? Very important. And that's basically it for the tech stuff, for the software, the networking, you know, the cybersecurity stuff. That's my list. And by the way, link is down below. And I'm also going to add timestamps to this video. That way, you're able to sort through every category a lot more easier. Okay, so every category is going to be timestamped. Now, number two here, category two, obviously, the medical field. Now, by the way, just just very flat out honest here. I am not good with medicine, science. That's not really my thing, okay? So I'll be telling you what these jobs are, what they kind of do, and then also the salary. If it interests you, go ahead and find out more on it on laborstatistics.gov. That's the official website that we have to not we, I mean the government, okay, the government, not me, to basically show you the labor, how the job is growing, is it worth it, is it not worth it, well, what you will actually need, is it actually um, growing, you know, all that information is on laborstatistics.gov, and that's why I mention it so much. I'm not sponsored, I didn't create the website, but it is an amazing tool, and that's why I promote it so much. So number one is radiologic and MRI technologies, okay, and these people help basically um, treat cancer and other diseases, with radiation therapy, okay? Again, not my thing, but it does start at around $60,000, okay? So not that bad, and only, again, two years. If this sounds interesting to you, then amazing to me. It sounds a little scary with, like, radiation, but I'm pretty sure people are safe and they know what they're doing, so there's that, too. Now, number two is nuclear medicine technologist. Now, when I heard this, I was like, okay, this has to be, like, the most advanced degree ever. But in reality, it makes around $79,000 a year, but what you're actually doing is basically giving patients um, radioactive medicine, in a sense, to help treat their diseases or just to kind of review the imaging and see the effects it actually has on their body. So it sounds like some trials. Honestly, that's what it sounds like to me. But again, that's why you want to go out there and research these degrees in full. Okay, I'm a business guy, an accounting guy, a money guy. Am I a medicine guy? 
No, I'm not. I'm going to be honest here. So yeah, $79,000. Again, just two years. And then you also have dental hygienists. You know, I always thought to be a dentist, you need like around six, eight years. No, two years is fine. Now, will you be doing everything a dentist does? The answer is no. More like cleaning, more like plaque removal, more like stains removal, okay? More like just being an assistant for a dentist, but you do get to make around $74,000 without going into like around $100,000 of student loan debt when you try to go to to school or whatever it is, okay? So not that bad if you ask me. $74,000 to clean a few stains out your teeth? I'll do that, no problem. And then you also have registered nurse, starting at around $70,000. And by the way, this right here, this job is growing massively, especially with the whole pandemic and everything that happened. Guess what? They need more of these people. And they're always gonna be more hours and more hours. I'm, I'm sorry to say this, but you know, in, in America, we're not the healthiest people, okay? One in four of us are actually not that slim. And, you know, that causes diseases later on, which causes, you know, more medical bills and all this stuff. And, you know, that 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 kind of pertains to a growing field in medicine, which is not like, I'm not really enthusiastic about it. I'm happy we had advancements, but I'm not that happy that we need all this stuff, okay? I'm just being honest. But yeah, it does make a lot of money. So if, you like, if you like helping people and you're very good at it, this is not that bad at all. Then you also have medical sonographer, starting at around $65,000. I know you're thinking, Tommy, must be scanning bellies and telling you about a baby. I thought so too, but in reality, it's also scanning and looking at organs and the body to find out problems that the person might actually have. Now, you won't be like um, saying like, hey, they have this, no. It's more like you're doing all the imaging and the doctor is going to go ahead and basically diagnose the patient, okay? That's the idea. And then you also have um, personal care aides. Now, this right here, honestly, does not take two years, okay? So I know people that did this, for example, in a month or two months because they just got certified and that's basically it. And what you basically do is you kind of like go to old people's home, people that are basically not able to do all their daily tasks. You take care of them, give them their medicine, um, do their laundry, clean their homes and all that stuff. Kind of like being like a, a homemade, okay? That's, that's what you are. And you make around $25,000 or like $30,000. Okay, not that much money, but it is flexible. You kind of have like a schedule based on how you want to create it. And then some of them even sleep at those people's houses. So it all saves you some money here and there. But yeah, it's for those people that are very caring. You know, you, you like caring for people and all that stuff. Okay, that's awesome. So $25,000, $30,000. Not that much money, but might be a good hustle. You know, maybe two months to actually get it, get certified. And then when you're doing that, you're also getting another degree to actually improve your skills massively. Now, that right there is the medical category. Now, let's go ahead and move into the labor category, okay? So, by the way, didn't include this year, but plumbers are always gonna be awesome, so that's on my list for sure, and they make a good amount of money, around $50,000, and you can also start your own business, so that's that. Didn't include it here, but I just it just came to mind, and I had to mention plumbing, okay? It's a great, it's a great career. But number one, officially, is actually an electrical engineer. I know, I know, I know. I thought for sure you need to have at least four years, but no, if you become an electrical engineer technician, you work under a person has a four-year degree and you kind of help them with everything that you actually have to do. And you can actually earn around $41,000 a year. Now, when you go on Google, it will say 70,000, but it ranges, okay? So I don't want to come on here and say, hey, $70,000 and you find out it's only 41,000. So again, do your research. It depends basically on, hey, where are you going to work? Who are you going to work for? What state are you in? All that stuff matters. So don't say, hey, this amount of money, no. Look it up for your state, what your average is, and everything is, okay? So, yeah, electrical engineer. Then you also have police officer, okay? A lot of people don't know this, but in reality, all you really need is like an associate's degree. And then, obviously, you go through the whole police exam and then the whole fitness test and all this stuff, and then, boom, all of a sudden, you become a police officer. And by the way, I don't know how they do the whole, like, physical exam because I do see a lot of police officers and they're, <laughs> they, don't, they don't seem like I can say they can actually run after me. But, you know, whatever, okay? And they can make something like around $62,000. And guess what? The benefits are great, but the risks are very high. You know, you, you don't know. It's one of those jobs where you kind of, like, it seems simple. You know, I'm just patrolling. But you don't know if one day you might get a call and you might not come back home. So it's one of those jobs. So if you're into that stuff, that's that. Then you also have number three, um, HVAC um, installers. So basically installing AC units, installing all that stuff. If this sounds interesting to you, you can actually make around $40,000 a year. But 
installing like heating, you know, like cooling systems in a, in a business or in a house and all this stuff, it can be your own business and potentially make you a lot more money. Obviously, this business depends exactly like where you live, like what the demand actually is and all that stuff. Working for a company will get you, for example, more study employment and more study salary. Having your own business will be more fluctuating. So I highly recommend start with somebody else, get experience, and then kind of go ahead and basically do everything else, okay? Like on your own if you actually want to. But yeah, $40,000. And by the way, you can earn more. Now, you also have aerospace engineer and operation technician. $66,000. You know, you probably think, I don't know what this one is, but I do. These people basically, um, you know when you have an airplane? Well, airplanes also need maintenance, like a car. You know, make sure everything is working correctly, all the parts are there. If something's wrong, you need to fix it. They basically repair and maintain everything. That is what you're actually going to be doing. Now, this takes around two years. Um, the hours are different. Be on the state. I actually saw a video on this, so I kind of like know like a little bit more. I know some people basically work overnight. You need kind of like small hands to so kind of like work inside of the airplane and everything like that. But yeah, pretty solid if you're into airplanes and all that good stuff. Then you all, and by the way, it doesn't start at six thousand dollars. It can actually start lower or higher. It just depends. Just want to be honest. Then you also have funeral service worker, starting around fifty-eight thousand dollars. Now, obviously. Whenever you think about funerals, you think about obviously people that are not here anymore, you know, obviously. But in reality, what you're actually doing here is sales, right? Because X person comes in, lost their aunt. Hey, I need to make all the funeral arrangements, okay? So you're going to help them with the flowers, with the caskets, with, with everything basically, with the venue. And what you're doing is basically sales. You know, it's a very... It's a very, I don't want to say this, but it's a very lousy job for most people out there because they're trying to take advantage of people that are basically going through a lot of pain and are not price sensitive. It's like, hey, this cask right here costs like 5000 Wouldn't you want your grandpa to have the best thing ever? You know, like, why are you being so flimsy? Like, he just, you know, so if you're going to do this, just be like a, like a, like a logical person, a person with a heart. That's, that's all I'm saying here. And then you also have lastly, civil engineer technician starting around $53,000 guys. And overall, that is it. You have, for example, the labor ones, you have also the medical field ones, and then you also have like the software computer stuff. Okay. But overall, that is my list of somewhere like around 15 to, to 17, I think. And by the way, in the links down below, I included a link to Forbes on basically traffic control. Cause I know for a fact, people are going to be like, that's like the eye candy. Okay. To a social degree, $122,000. Oh my gosh. Look it up. Do your research link down below. But I also included a link to zippy. I think the thing is, is I think it's called like, yeah, zippy and zipping is what I use to kind of get more accurate information on salaries, job descriptions, and what you're actually going to need based on location. So if you wanna use that tool to do more research, use it. But also use laborstatistics.gov. I'm also going to include that link in the description down below. As always guys, thank you for watching. Comment down below, let me know which degree are you mostly interested in. For me, if I had to start all over again, I don't even know what I would tell you, man. I would probably do something with computers, you know, like software engineer. But then again, I, I don't know about that stuff, you know, uh, but it depends. You know, there's so many amazing jobs out there that pay you a good amount of money. But any job that pays me over $60,000 a year, pretty good, pretty solid in my books. But again, I would pick something I like, I'm good at. It's also going to pay me a good amount of money because I don't want to be miserable. I also don't want to be feeling like a dummy. And I also don't want to be working for free because that's that's never a good thing. I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, comment down below. Let me know. If you want to DM me, DM me right here on Instagram, at Tanya Bryson. Or if you want to call me, link down below to the call with me. And on top of that, here's another video. Or right here, my other channels. Subscribe to them. See you guys tomorrow. And as always, peace. Welcome to the long-term team.